You know, I'm, I'm only getting better. And um, and that's why I keep saying those guys, but they better fight me now because as time go on, I'm only gonna get better. So it's, it's only gonna get worse for them. You know, I, I train hard in the gym. Like I said, I sacrifice. Uh, I, I, I work on many different things. Um, and I'm a student of the game. So, you know, every fight, I'm gonna get better. Now, I see that you, you're here at 135. How long will it be until you start to move up to 140, 147? What point are you? My weight cut went actually really good for this fight. I felt great. Uh, I'll stay at 135, you know, if I can get a big fight, but I'm not gonna stay here, you know, forever. I'm not gonna stay here, you know, too long, but I'm willing to stay here for, you know, a, a little bit longer, you know, because I, I, I wanna get a title at 135 and then move up. I don't wanna, you know, miss the 135 d division, you know, without getting a title. You know, I wanna be a multi-weight, multi-division world champion. So, you know, it starts at 135. What do you see in Vasil Lomachenko? Because I believe I see what you see in Lomachenko that you could defeat him. But there's some people that here tonight that think you're too green to yeah. defeat Lomachenko. Yeah, well, so. you know, Lomachenko is a great fighter. You know, I take nothing away from him. Um, and that's exactly why I want to fight him, because he's a great fighter. And no, no disrespect to, you know, any of his other opponents, but it was obviously, you know, too green for him too. So if I'm too green, let me just go on the list with all the other green fighters that he fought. <laughs> <laughs> Every, every fight, Devin is getting better and better, and, and, and like he, he keeps reiterating, it's only going to get get worse. Um, I think he, he did he did great with this fight. I mean, we we expected him to go in and use his jab and break the break him down. You know, kind of like uh, you know the, the the Floyd thing. You know, everyone wants you know saw the last fight and saw the knockout and and, and he kind of like you know was you know thinking about his right hand. But all through camp, you know, I stress that his jab, he has the best jab in the business. And he, and he went out and he broke him down uh, with his jab and, and he set up the, uh, the uh, right hand. Devin, you're not pressed for a mandatory fight against Lomachenko. If you take a fight in November, won't that allow Lomachenko to take a fight before the unification match? Well, Lomachenko is already going to fight the unification match. That's pretty much set in stone. There's nothing we really can do about that. So. I'm not gonna just sit around and, and wait for Lomachenko. Of course, I wanna stay busy, so I'm gonna defend my interim world title and we'll see what happens. Eddie, um, this is for your dad. Um, I know you'll fight just about anybody. You'll fight Lomachenko. You'll probably fight Canelo if you really wanted to. But um, would you rather like see your son fight somebody like a Luke Campbell, um, Richard Comey, a couple guys that are like, up there in the rankings before he just jumped right into um, Lomachenko? Or do you just want him to just fight? Off the back, if you had your, you know. Well, I mean, we we wanted to, to fight originally um, Luke Campbell uh, for well for the for the title, you know, and that was that was what we went into it um, with with Eddie in hopes that that we could have made that fight happen. Um, I think he, he's had five fights on television now, and uh, I think they've been they've been flawless performances um, as far as Lomachenko. I don't see anyone on Lomachenko's list that Devin uh, could handle as well. I don't see it as being a problem. So, I mean, of course, we want we want Lomachenko. We, he wants to make the biggest fights and the best fights. And part of the reason, of, I guess, is going with Eddie as well is because he makes he makes the best fights, you know. And uh, and I think he's going to make the fight with Lomachenko sooner or later. One thing that I can say is, if I'm just so easy, if I'm so green, if I'm if I'm not ready, why not just fight me and beat me? Get me out the way. If 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 I saw somebody and it was just an easy payday and it was just something, I would fight him too. So why not just fight me and get me out the way? I'm talking a lot. Uh, I'm making a lot of buzz. I'm calling his name every single day. Uh, I DM'd him on Instagram. He didn't respond. Why, <laughs> why not just get me out the way? Because not easy. Oh, you a beast. 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 Okay, Devin, I'm not easy. Let me see mandatory. 
So, uh, Lomachenko, come on, man. Let's get this fight going. A lot of guys have said they want Lomachenko. You're the next on that list. Lomachenko. My mistake. A lot of guys say they want him. What makes you believe that at this stage of your career, you're ready for that type of fight? Like I said, uh, uh, Abdullah was the number two, uh, you know, mandatory. I went in there, I destroyed him. It was no contest for me. Uh, if, if I'm so easy, Lomachenko should just fight me and get me out of the way. Obviously, you know what Lomachenko's side is doing. They would like to fight the winner of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez in December. Keeping that title maybe away from you for a little while. If you can't get that fight, what do you want?